I will use some 4.5 by 3 cm strips to make this wooden frame. First I cut 4 pieces 25 cm long. 4 pieces 55 cm long. And finally 4 pieces 90 cm long. The 25 cm long pieces go vertically. And I will use these screws, notice that one is longer than the other, to join here the 55 cm long pieces and the 90 cm long pieces. Well, I will also put some glue in the joints. Then first I will make the short sides of the frame. And they will look like this. I put a 55 cm long piece on this plywood board. And I need some room to put a 25 cm long piece in front of it. This stop block will help to align both pieces. And this stop block will help so the 55 cm long pieces don't move to the sides. Like this it will be easy to put all the pieces always in the same position. And I put this stop block so the pieces don't move back when I screw them. Now I will insert here this long screw. But I won't center it. I move it to one side just to leave room for the other screw, the short one that goes here. Because here I will put the 90 cm long piece. Then these are the long screws I will use. And this is the drill bit I will use to drill the guide holes. It has the same diameter as the screw inner diameter. And I can also use it to drill the guide holes for the smaller screws. Then I drill the guide holes in these pieces. I keep drilling in the mark in the head of this piece. I drill in the edge of the board so the drill chuck doesn't bump against the board. I countersink the hole. I put some glue there. And I insert the screw. The free hand must be far away from the screw. Because if the drill missed the screw head and the drill jumps to one side, I could hit my hand. Now, if I turn this, now I don't have room to put the other 25 cm long piece. So first I will screw this piece. And I do the same with the other side of this frame. Now I move this stop block so I have room to screw the 25 cm long pieces. And I already have the two short sides of the wooden frame. Now I have the short sides and I will put them here so I can screw the 90 cm long pieces. I put here this stop block, I put this one in the other side and I put here the third one. And I drill the guide hole. When I drill these guide holes, I must make sure I don't drill against the screws 
I have already inserted. And now I realize I didn't drill centered in the back strip. I have drilled centered in the front strip. So I drill another guide hole slightly to the right, just to drill centered in the back strip. So now here we can see the screw is not centered in the front strip, but it is centered in the back strip, the way it has to be. Now I move this stop block, so I can put this like this. And now I could move the other stop block, but I won't move it, I will adjust the pieces by hand. Now I could turn this like this, but it would be impossible to keep this vertical. And if I put it like this, I have to move that stop block once again. So I make some room in the front and I screw the stop block. So now I can screw the last pieces. In this case I don't need to move that stop block, because now I drill over the screws I have already inserted in these corners, so the drill chuck won't hit the plywood board. And here I have this simple wooden frame. I will use it to make a protection for some seed beds. I just have to put some kind of net in the top and all around. But I think I could also use this system to make some piece of furniture. Instead of countersinking the holes, I would drill them to insert the screw's head inside the wood. Then I could glue some dowels in the holes and after the glue dries I would cut the dowels and I would sand them. I think it would look quite nice. Maybe I'll bring myself to make some piece of furniture using this system. One last thing. The head of these screws have that V-shape. So if I tighten them too much they will work as a wedge and they could split the wood. It would be better to use some screws that are flat in that part. They wouldn't work as a wedge, so it would be more difficult to split the wood. Well, and while I was making one, I made two frames. Thanks for watching. If you like this technique, don't forget to click like and share. You already know you can also find my projects in my blog. Link in the description. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.